The Indiana Fever are figuring it out. Led by Caitlin Clark's 18 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists, and 4 steals, the Fever earned their third straight win Wednesday night, beating the Washington Mystics 88-81. Caitlin Clark scores 5 points in 14 seconds. She buries a deep 3 and then grabs the steal and lays it in. PIC.twitter.com slash RKQ1 SAY Caitlin Clark buries a 3 to put us up 9 in the 4th? PIC.twitter.com slash BBKBSDCWL Get out of the way when AB is coming through. Aliyah Boston converts on the end. 1. Fever Mystics on League Pass PIC.twitter.com slash a 3 showy GKLA. It's the Fever's longest winning streak of the season, moving them to 6 to 10. After a 1 to 8 start, the team has won 5 of its last 7 games. As you might expect, Fever fans were hyped following the victory, and pundits were impressed by the winning streak. The Fever have won 3 I in a row PIC.twitter.com slash modviuajifa Caitlin Clark, while still turning it over too much, but she handles it all the time for 37 minutes a game, is really settling in, not needing to be the savior. Using Boston and Mitchell. Team play. Rot Y is hers for taking. Hashtag Fever Hashtag Mystics Hashtag WNBA PIC Twitter com Slash KCRRG 6 Bond W Don't look now, but the Fever are starting to gel and get hot? HTTPS colon slash slash teed CO slash S my insect SH I'm turning the corner on the Fever and sides for that matter. Mitchell and Clark are gonna be one hell of a backcourt. AB looks like she's back in shape. Understood happening with the lesser competition, but this is just what the doctor ordered. Imagine what the record of the Indiana Fever would be if they didn't have to run that ridiculous gauntlet of games throughout the month of May. Indiana is 6-10 and look like they're playing like a team. That may have been the most complete Fever game of the entire year. Nearly five players with double digits that was good all-around team win. Even from Wheeler. LOL. Hashtag Fever. Terrific game by the Fever and Caitlin continues to pad the rookie stats. No one can ever make me hate this girl. The continued evolution of Clark has played a big role in that streak, though she's had plenty of help. Aaliyah Boston chipped in with 22 points and 8 boards on Wednesday, while Kelsey Mitchell had 22 points of her own. Ariel Atkins did everything she could to keep the Mystics in the game, leading all scorers with 27 points, but her teammates couldn't match that pace. Suddenly. The Fever can realistically think about the possibility of a playoff push. Granted, there's a lot of season left to be played, but Indiana holds the number 8 seed and appears to be settling into a nice groove. Clark continues to play well, though she has plenty of room for growth. Turnovers remain an issue, 6 against the Mystics, and she hasn't hit on her 3-pointers at the expected rate, 32.8% heading into Wednesday night. But the Fever are learning how to better play as a unit, and the win over the Mystics was a good indication of how dangerous they could be when they start hitting on all cylinders. Boston gives them a legitimate threat down low, while the team has solid role players behind her and Clark. It was a rough start this season for the Fever, but they're clearly finding a groove. The rookie's all-around game, 18 points, 12 rebounds, 6 assists and 4 steals, lifts Indiana to a third straight win. Indianapolis Washington Mystics coach Eric Tebow was quick to remind everyone that they shouldn't be fooled by the Indiana Fever's record or its slow start to the season. Caitlin Clark may be among the most hyped athletes in the country, but Tebow knows there's more to that team than the NCAA Division I all-time leading scorer. Clark is just the latest number one pick on the Fever's roster. She joined former South Carolina star Aaliyah Boston from 2023, and that pair joined number two picks Nalissa Smith and Kelsey Mitchell. That quartet combined for 73 points as the Fever defeated the Mystics, 88-81, before a capacity crowd of 17,274 at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. After an 0-5 start, the Fever has won 3 straight and 5 of 7, improving to 6-10. The Mystics, 2-13, who endured an 0-12 start, had their two-game winning streak end. Definitely time, together helps, Clark said before the game. You can even see me and Aaliyah just having a better connection, reading where each other's going to be, reading each other's eyes a little bit better. It's just the connection. You build that through playing together. Everybody can kind of see the improvement. The Mystics' progress has been slowed by injuries, 
with two of their biggest contributors missing extended time. Brittany Sykes, left foot sprain, missed her 12th game, and Shakira Austin, hip, missed her ninth. Their absences are felt especially on offense, where Ariel Atkins, 27 points, and Carly Samuelson, 16 points, could have used help beyond the 14 points Stephanie Dolson contributed, including four three-pointers. Atkins has been on a tear in the past three games, averaging 24.7 points, and now ranks fourth in franchise history with 450 assists. That's the key, not to force it, Atkins said. To make all of our lives easier, I have to be aggressive. Also with Sykes, being out, we need to attack the rim a little more. Just trying to put pressure on the rim, open up stuff for us. Washington kept the Fever's lead to single digits most of the night until a 12-3 fourth quarter run built an 11-point advantage. The Mystics never got closer than five the rest of the way. Clark scored a career-high 30 points in the first meeting between the teams but put together a more all-around game this time with 18 points, a career-high 12 rebounds, six assists and four steals to go with six turnovers. Boston set the tone early and finished with 22 points and 8 rebounds while Mitchell dropped 22 on 8, 4, 11 shooting, including 4 three-pointers. Smith added 11 points and 7 rebounds. We chased shooters hard and maybe didn't guard the ball well enough, Thibault said. First half, in particular, we gave up a lot of straight-line drives because we were so busy chasing shooters around off the ball. That's tough because you have to give respect to those shooters but I don't think we did a good job just with our one-on-one -on -one defense. Those are high-level scorers, and the Mystics helped them out with some freebies. Committing 11 turnovers isn't demoralizing, but the Fever went the other way and scored 20 points off them, compared with just 10 points off turnovers for the Mystics. That differential matters in a 7-point loss. Adding to the Mystics' issues was a propensity for fouling, and the Fever went 18 for 23 from the line. Some of the turnovers were basically outlets for a fast-break layup, Samuelson said. Can't have a live turnover at the top of the key. Washington has two more meetings with the Fever. On Wednesday, the Mystics announced their season-ending game against Indiana on September 19th will be played at Capital One Arena. The first meeting was also held there and sold out with 20,333 in attendance, making it the fifth-best attended regular season game in WNBA history. The Mystics return home for a back-to-back -back against the Dallas Wings on Saturday and Sunday.